The Ghost Trick Archetype are a purely all-dark attribute series of monsters that are based on spooky characters from folklore tales from all around the globe. Essentially, they're the Halloween archetype. In fact, this is solidified by their release date in the TCG. But you see, they debuted in Shadow Spectres. And guess what the date was? If you said October 31st, <gasps> then sadly no, you were wrong. It's actually November 8th. But hey, that's pretty close. Their name of Ghost Trick is derived from the words Ghost and Trick which is a reference to the act of trick-or-treating, a Halloween tradition where kids dress up as ghosts and ghouls of the like and go door-to-door -door asking for a trick-or-treat, i.e. give me sweeties or maybe something bad might happen to this lovely home of yours. Wow, that phrase is actually really dark when you think about it, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, the point is that ghost trick monsters themselves embody this tradition, as their archetypal effect that they all share is that they are able to flip themselves face down once per turn. How is this the same? Well, the ghost trick's flipping effects are reminiscent of children pranksters or mischievous spirits popping out from the shadows and scaring people, and then quickly running away and hiding. Think of them like boos from Mario. During the opponent's turn, they like to hide, whereas during their turn, they like to come out and play. Not only that though, but there are a lot of cards in the archetype that also flip the opponent's monsters face down, which you could view as the ghost tricks frightening the opponent's monsters and making them cower in the face down defense position. But the question then becomes, if the ghost tricks are hiding all the time, well, how do you win with this deck? Well, you win by utilizing their field spell, Ghost Trick Mansion and Ghost Trick Museum, as they make it so face down monsters can't be attacked. However, that doesn't mean you can't still be attacked directly. So the idea is you flip all your opponent's monsters face down, then you make all of them attack your opponent directly, relentlessly. Then after the battle, you flip all your monsters back face down, and now when your opponent attacks you, you can defend yourself with either the field spell card, which will halve all damage to you, or you can make use of the many Ghost Trick protection cards. Now the ghost tricks actually have a little tiny bit of lore about them. It goes a little something like this. On the outskirts of a sleepy town, past the cemetery and through a small forest, an abandoned mansion sits eerily at the forest's edge. Local villagers are sometimes dared to go on journeys to the house, believing that it is haunted. And guess what? The rumors are true. For you see, the house is full to the brim with the ghost tricks, who eagerly lie in wait for visitors, who they can prank and scare. Their leader, Alucard, under the cover of darkness, keeps his eye on all of the ghost tricks as they make all of their noise and fuss, while he himself much rather take a long rest inside his coffin. When a human approaches the house, Jiangxi, always on the lookout for humans, will hop back to the house to alert everyone of a visitor. If one of those villagers ventures down one of the long corridors, then Spectre and Lantern will suddenly jump out and chase them down the hall. Should those same individuals then make it into the living room, then they will find themselves slowly becoming paralyzed due to Yuki Ona's freezing ice and Witch's sleeping spell. Once the guests have been scared away, Stein will set everything back up for the next visitors, even adding new and more intricate pranks around the house. However, over the years, fewer and fewer villagers have been coming to their mansion because, well, to put it simply, they've scared them all away. And now with no one visiting them anymore, the ghost tricks have become rather lonely. In an attempt to bring more people back, they throw lots of parties and festivals and continue to decorate the house, yearning for more people to keep them company. However, so far, no one has come to the creaky house at the edge of the forest. So. Now we know a little bit more about them, let's take a look at each one and see what creature, monster, ghoul or ghost they are based on. And keep in mind, though they are based on horrifically scary things, the ghost tricks are much cuddlier instead. So yeah, just remember that when I'm describing what they're based on. Ghost Trick Festival. The only Link monster so far of the archetype, it requires one non-Link Ghost Trick monster to be summoned. Also, you can use a face down Ghost Trick monster as a material to Link summon this card. Its effect is, whilst on the field, your Ghost Trick monsters can attack directly while there is a Ghost Trick card in the field zone. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can tribute this card, special summon one Ghost Trick monster from your deck in face down defense. Released in 2021's Battle of Chaos pack for the OCG, this monster was created to counter the huge problem the Ghost Trick archetype faced due to the release of Link monsters. 
You see, Link monsters are the ghost trick's natural enemy, because Link monsters, under any circumstances, cannot be forced face down. This is a big problem for the deck's main mechanic. Since it can't be flipped face down, that means these monsters can't attack directly. However, Festival was the response, as it makes it so all ghost tricks can attack directly without needing the opponent's cards to be face down. In fact, the artwork of this monster is that of most likely Halloween Day, as every single ghost trick can be seen outside holding a festival. This festival most likely is to attract new visitors. Following their Link monster, the ghost tricks come in four different types, with each type having an Xyz boss monster. We have the level 1 fiends, the level 2 spellcasters, the level 3 zombies, and the level 4 fairies. Let's start first with Ghost Trick Lantern. His archetypal effect, which all of the ghost tricks share, this is the last time I'm going to mention it now, is it cannot be normal summoned unless you control a ghost trick monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. His unique ability is when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack or when a ghost trick monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack and if you do, special summon this card from your hand in face down defense. Lantern's design is based on a jack-o-lantern, a pumpkin that has been carved and transformed into a spooky face with a candle inside. These typically sit on a homeowner's porch. Historically, the light inside these lanterns are said to be spirits that have been captured inside of the lantern. People would place them in front of their doors or by their windows to keep evil spirits from coming too close to your home. Ghost Trick Spectre. His unique effect is when a Ghost Trick monster is destroyed by an opponent's card effect or by battle with their attacking monster and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand in face down defense. And if you do, draw one card. Spectre's design is based on a g g g g g ghost. A ghost is an entity that is the manifestation of the deceased, now visible in the mortal realm, usually here for unfinished business that they did not complete in their life. Ghost Trick Jack Frost. His unique effect is when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can change that opponent's monster to face down defense position. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand in face down defense position. Jack Frost's design is based on something a lot more wintry, as it's a snowman. Its name is even based on Jack Frost, an entity who would leave frost on windows during cold mornings. So not very spooky, right? Well, there is a horror spin here in the form of the evil snowman Jack Frost from the 1997 film of the same name. Perhaps this monster is based on that. And if you want a scary snowman, look for Snowman Eater. Ugh. Ghost Trick Mary. Her unique effect is when you take damage, you can discard this card, special summon one Ghost Trick monster from your deck in face down defense position. Mary's design is based on the vengeful spirit, Bloody Mary, an entity that is said to appear within mirrors to those who call out her name 13 times. Her origin began when young women would gaze into mirrors and chant her name, doing so because supposedly when they did, an image would appear that would be of their future husband's face. However, there was a chance that they could see the face of the Grim Reaper instead. This would indicate that they would die long before meeting their significant other. Perhaps something you might not want to know. For the level 1 fiend's Xyz boss monster, we have Ghost Trick Dullahan. Requiring two level 1 monsters to be summoned, its effect is it gains 200 attack for each Ghost Trick card you control. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one face-up monster on the field, halve its attack until the end of this turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of a Ghost Trick card in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Dullahan's design is based on a Headless Horseman, specifically the Celtic version known as a Dullahan. Both are basically sinister beings without a head who ride upon a black horse into the night, searching for the head that they have lost. In fact, that's not entirely true as the Dullahan does differ as he actually carries around his own head under his arm. Ghost Trick Yuki Owner. Its unique effect is when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can change that monster to face down defense position and if you do, it cannot change its battle position. Yuki Ona is based on a Japanese spirit of the same name called a Yuki Ona, which means Snow Woman. This creature appears on snowy nights and floats across the snow-strewn floor, leaving no footprints. Some legends say she is the spirit of someone who perished in the snow, and though she may be beautiful, she is incredibly ruthless, as she will kill all of those that she crosses paths with 
in the snow. Ghost Trick Nekomasume. A unique effect is when a level 4 or higher monster is normal or special summoned, change that monster to face down defense position. There must be another Ghost Trick monster on the field to activate this effect. Nekomasume is based on a Bake Neko, a type of yokai from Japanese folklore. Basically the gist of this yokai is, if a cat is raised by a human and it lives for 13 years, this apparently only happens in certain places in Japan. It will transform into a human-cat hybrid called a Bake Neko. And then, upon its creation, it will kill the one who raised it. Ghost Trick Doll. Its unique effect is when this card is flipped face up during the end phase, change as many face up monsters on the field as possible to face down defense position. Then you can special summon one Ghost Trick monster from your deck in face down defense, whose level is less than or equal to the number of monsters flipped face down by this effect. Doll is based on a Bisque doll, or to some, a porcelain doll. They were these small, fragile, yet eerily realistic dolls that due to the realistic characteristics, had really eerily wide-eyed stares. And of course, because of this, they became the perfect candidate for spooky movies, as they were the perfect spooky toy to put in a corner of a room. Ghost Trick Fairy. Its unique effect is when this card is flipped face up, you can target one Ghost Trick card in your graveyard, set that card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Then you can change face up monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position, up to the number of set cards you control. Fairy is based on, of course, a fairy. Fairies are usually depicted as helpful and angelical. Their origins were much less so, as fairies were believed to be the spirits of the dead, demons, or guardians of nature that would defend whatever land they inhabited. Ghost Trick Witch. A unique effect is, once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, change it to face-down defense position. Which is based on a witch, a person who was said to practice the act of witchcraft. Witches are synonymous with flying broomsticks, a pointy hat, and a black cloak. And I guess a cauldron as well. What's notable about Ghost Trick Witch as well, is she seems to be the bossiest of all the Ghost Tricks. As in nearly every artwork she appears in, she is telling someone what to do. For the level 2 Spellcaster Xyz boss monsters, we have Ghost Trick Succubus, known in the Japanese as Ghost Trick Succubus. She requires two level 2 monsters. Her effect is while you control another Ghost Trick monster, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one face up monster on the field with attack less than or equal to the combined attack of all Ghost Trick monsters on the field, destroy it. And if you do, that monster card zone cannot be used as long as you control a ghost trick monster. This monster is based on a succubus, a female demon who enters the dreams of men and gives them <coughs> some favors in exchange for a portion of their lifespan. What's funny about this monster is that her name is censored from succubus to so cute boss, which is absolutely fine because it's a funny play on words, it's quite clever. However, the weird thing about it is that there was another card called Succubus released in the very first set of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that card wasn't censored, nor has it been censored ever since. And that was Succubus Knight. Ghost Trick Warwolf. When this card is flipped face up, inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each set card of the field. Warwolf is based on a werewolf, also known by its Latin name of a lycanthrope. It is a creature whom is a person cursed to transform into a human-like wolf creature under the light of the full moon, losing all sense of self and becoming purely driven on animalistic instincts. Ghost Trick Yeti. When this card is flipped face up, you can target one Ghost Trick monster on the field. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Yeti is based off a creature from Himalayan folklore of the same name whom is also referred to as the Abominable Snowman. It is a hulking, ape-like human that lives up in the Himalayan mountains. It is, in fact, very similar to that of another cryptid, the Bigfoot, who is said to inhabit North America. Ghost Trick Ghoul. Its unique effect is, once per turn during your main phase, you can target one Ghost Trick monster you control. Its attack becomes equal to the combined original attack of all Ghost Trick monsters currently on the field, until the end of your opponent's next turn. But if it does, only that monster can attack this turn. This monster is based on a ghoul, which is a creature derived from old Arabian tales. It is basically a sickly, human-looking monster that dwells in cemeteries or in uninhabited places. Its goal? to lure unsuspecting people into a quiet, secluded place. So, 
it can devour them. Ghost Trick Jiangshi. When this card is flipped face up, you can add from your deck to your hand one Ghost Trick monster whose level is less than or equal to the number of Ghost Trick monsters you control. Jiangshi is based on a Chinese hopping zombie of the same name. They are basically zombies that have been brought back to life through the talisman that is placed upon their forehead. The reason they hop is because due to rigor mortis, the stiffening of the body after death, the zombies can't really move their limbs so good, so they are forced to hop in order to chase their prey. Ghost Trick Mummy. Its unique effect is while this card is faced upon the field, you can normal summon one Ghost Trick monster in addition to your normal summon or set per turn. You cannot special summon any monster except dark monsters. Mummy is based on the Egyptian mummy. Mummy, of course, stands for mummification, which is the process of preserving the body after death. The Egyptian mummy is the most obvious inspiration for this monster, as these were wrapped in a cloth as part of the process. And of course, horror movies made mummies come back to life a thing, wandering the earth, sometimes to look for the bits and pieces that were taken away from them after death. And where would they get those pieces? Well, usually from living people. Ghost Trick Skeleton. When this card is flipped face up, banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck face down, up to the number of Ghost Trick monsters you control. Skeleton is based on, well, a skeleton that's come back to life. However, in this case, it is most likely based on the Grim Reaper, the physical personification of death. Death appears as a cloaked skeleton, wielding a scythe that comes to collect your soul at the moment of your demise. Ghost Trick Stein. Its effect is when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can add one Ghost Trick Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. This monster is based on Frankenstein's monster from Mary Shelley's 1818 novel. The story goes, a scientist known as Frankenstein wanted to create life. So he stitched together a bunch of human parts he harvested, and then by harnessing the power of a bolt of lightning, he used it to kickstart the creature's heart. Unfortunately, the creature as it became alive horrified him so much that he fled. The creature began wandering the land with no idea of who or what he was. Eventually, he would grow violent and the villagers would form a mob to hunt him down. Thus, he garnered the name of Frankenstein's monster. Now, the boss monster of the level three zombies is Ghost Trick Alucard, requiring two level three monsters to be summoned. Monsters your opponent control cannot target face up Ghost Trick monsters or any face down defense position monsters for attacks, except this one. You can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one set card your opponent controls, destroy that target. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one other Ghost Trick card in your graveyard, Add that target to your hand. Alucard is based on the Son of Dracula from the 1943 film Son of Dracula. Some of you might know Alucard from two other Konami owned franchises, Castlevania and a spin off of that called Kid Dracula. If you didn't notice, Alucard is Dracula backwards. Ghost Trick Siren. If this card is normal summoned or flipped face up, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. Then if there was a Ghost Trick card among them, you can apply one of these effects. Add a Ghost Trick Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Change one effect monster your opponent controls to face down defense. Siren is based on a dangerous sea creature from mythology called a siren. These were mermaids who would sit upon rocks in the sea. They would hide their tail beneath the water and lure sailors towards them and their ships through enchanting music. Unbeknownst to the sailors though, sharp rocks lay dormant beneath the sea. This would cause them to sink and the sirens would then drag them down to the bottom of the sea to devour them. And for the boss monsters at the level 4 fairies, we have Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief, known in the Japanese as Ghost Trick Spoiled Angel. She requires two level 4 monsters to be summoned. However, she can also be Xyz summoned by using a Ghost Trick Xyz monster as the material. Xyz materials attached to that monster also become Xyz materials on this card. When the number of Xyz materials on this card becomes 10, you win the duel. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, add one Ghost Trick Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, you can attach one Ghost Trick card from your hand to this card as an Xyz material. Based on a fallen angel, her Japanese name is actually a fun pun on this. As the phrase used for her name, spoiled angel, in the Japanese it is pronounced identically to fallen angel. Thus, how she got her name of Ghost Trick Spoiled Angel. The archetype has three field spells, Ghost Trick Mansion, Ghost Trick Museum, and Ghost Trick Parade. It only has one other spell, which is Ghost Trick Shot. Everything else is a trap, fitting with their playstyle. They are Ghost Trick Scare, known in the Japanese as Ghost Trick Panic, 
Ghost Trick or Treat, Ghost Trick Break, Ghost Trick Vanish, known in the Japanese as Ghost Trick Out, Ghost Trick Go Round, known in the Japanese as Ghost Trick Roll Shift, Ghost Trick Renovation, known in the Japanese as Ghost Trick Reform, and Ghost Trick Nights. And with that, guys, that is the Ghost Trick archetype done. So let's give a shout out to the people that help make these videos possible. Thank you first and foremost to my platinum backers that give that little bit extra every month. Nemochan77, Geeks Cornucopia, Omar Lopez and Jonathan Youngs. Thank you guys. As well to my YouTube and gold backers, Michael Wachlowski, Silver Defender, Aperversar, Goosey Q isn't a drop, Joseph Y, Yu-Gi-Oh Everything, Jeremy Pontier, Kobe Sylvaniagam. As well to my silver backers, thank you all so much. I'll see you all soon. Catch you later.